I'm Sarah Huck here at the site of the Future Renewable Electric Energy Delivery and Management System Center at NC State University in Raleigh. I want to tell you about an exciting cutting-edge center right here in our state. The Freedom System Center is funded by the National Science Foundation and supported by corporate partners. With $19 million in funds, NCSU and six universities are trying to modernize the nation's electrical distribution system. Our scientists and engineers are leading the development of a new sustainable energy system known as the Smart Grid. What's a Smart Grid? The grid we have right now is not very smart. It's one-way communication. The Smart Grid is two-way flows of digital information between the consumer and generators of power, as well as digital information flow between the equipment on the grid and the utilities. Huh? So the smart grid is like the internet in the sense that we move from large centralized mainframe computers to small distributed computers. And what it took to do that was a lot of uh, communication and infrastructure. Uh, the same thing is true of the uh, power grid where we're moving from large centralized generation to smaller generation with solar cells and wind turbines. We need to be able to have it communicate in a two-way manner. That doesn't exist right now. The abilities that we need in that are the ability to store energy and the ability to quickly and easily connect and disconnect these devices. So if you want to put solar panels on your roof, it's just like ordering a laptop computer. To hook it up, you put the purple plug in the purple outlet and you're ready to go. The Freedom System Center is working together with private corporations developing a way to change the model of energy consumption. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, that's better. Let's start by asking, how do you use energy? I plug in and play. I don't give it a second thought. Okay, so your phone is charged and you unplug it. What happens to the energy in the outlet? Never thought about it. Consider this. You're thirsty. You want water. You fill your glass. I'm done. Full now. Don't need any more right now. But the water keeps coming and you can't store it for later or use it right now. And there's no way to stop the water from being wasted. This is how our energy grid works today. Now imagine the water is the energy at your outlet after you charge your phone. Wouldn't it be better to be able to stop the flow when you're done charging, to order what you need, or better yet, to store the energy for later when you want to run your washing machine, dishwasher, hairdryer, and recharge your phone? Imagine if you could send extra electricity to your friends and neighbors, or to a stranger who has to run an iron lung. Now that would be smart.